Hey everybody, and welcome back to another mod review. Today we're going to take a look at a Flegel semi-trailer flatbed slash low loader, uh, what the heck you want to call it. It's a great little trailer uh, for those that maybe don't like the in-game uh, two-piece low loader, or maybe you're uh, you're playing on a, a map that has some elevation changes, and the uh, the in-game low loader ends up bottoming out. This is a great option for you. This mod can be found over at modhoster.com, and we're going to take a look at the mod here in the store. First off, so if we go to store and we go to tools, and then we go to low loaders, we've got the in-game uh, low loader here that comes in two pieces, and basically all we can do is you know, change the color on it. The way it works is you have to disconnect here, and then you back up onto this. Uh, this thing extends if you need to, and then you come back and hook it back up. But you can see the ground clearance on this thing is pretty low. All right, but that's not why we're here today. We're here today to take a look at this one, the Flegel low loader. And here we go. And you can see ground clearance is a little bit better. We do have those side skirts to deal with, uh, but it's all one piece, and we've got loading ramps on the back. The other cool thing about this one is that it also has belts that go across. So you can tr use this to transport um, pallets or bales, should you so wish. And there's several options here that we're going to go ahead and take a look at right now. So first off, we've got the main color. Uh, we can change that to whatever color we might want. I'm going to go with a metal, just a nice metal color. And then we've got our rims. We can change our rims. Let's change those to, oh, let's make them white. Let's make them on beige and off-white. Okay. And let's take a look. We can change the wheel brand from Michelin. Let's try to zoom in a little bit on our tires here. We can change them to Nokian. They got that nice, uh, you know, tread pattern there, the Nokian tread pattern or back to Michelin, and then we've got wheel setup. Now, wheel setup and the design go hand in hand, okay? So right now we are at a two-axle um, chassis with standard wheels. Uh, if we go to a three, a wheel setup uh, chassis three, basically three-axle chassis, but we don't change the design, you can see what we get. So we need to match and now we have basically three axles with Michelin tires. And we can go back to standard and we can go back to two. Go to Nokian. Again, we can go to standard. Uh, we can go to, uh, really don't know what that says. Don't see any real difference there. Or we can go to three axles. And again, if we do that, we need to pick three. There we have three. And we can go to standard and back down to two. Okay. So let's go to Michelin and three and three, just like that. And then design, we basically have the choice of having the, the front here with the sides or without the sides. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and buy this here. And then I want to show you because the mod says, oops, wrong one. The mod says that it has hose hookups. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and buy some trucks here. Because you're going to see something that I'm a little disappointed with, uh, with Giants with. And that is that even though this trailer has hose hookups, it doesn't hook up to every single truck. In fact, it only hook ups, hook, hooks up to one truck in particular. So here is the low loader. We've got our hose connections here in the front. We've got some, you know, the uh, the jack stand. Uh, we've got some blocks here. It's pretty cool. And we've got there. We've got our straps. Okay, now we don't have straps up here on the upper level. Okay, we only, oh, we do. Sorry. Oh, 
Well, we'll see that better when we hook up to this with the truck. Well, let's go over here and hook up with these semis, and I'll show you what I mean with respect to uh, the hoses. There's the first one. Let's see, we can retract. There's our straps. We got two straps on the top level and six straps on the lower level. And we're pressing X to fold the trailer and L, of course, to uh, fasten and unfasten the straps. So that truck doesn't work with the hoses. Go over here and do the Tatra. See how it does. The hose attachments. See it also does not have a hose <coughs> hose hookup. Go to our man truck. And we do have hose hookups for our man truck. Okay. Let's park this over here. And I'm going to go ahead and show you these two. Uh, but the gist is that the man truck is the only truck that has actual hose hookups. Which is a little disappointing because the three American style trucks all have hoses right here on the back. But they don't do anything. Come on, Giants. Make these hoses work. I mean, if ATS can make hoses hook up, then why on earth can't... Giants make hoses hook up on the trucks. I mean, we've got hoses that hook up on some of the implements and tractors. I suspect there might be at some point mods that come out with uh, with these trucks that allow hoses. See, these don't hook up either. All right. I want to look up here. Pull up a little bit. Uh, lower the uh, rear. Okay. And I've got the uh, forward here from a previous mod video. I want to uh, basically show you guys what we can do here with this. So we're going to back the tractor up. Okay. And I've got some big bags of animal food here from another mod video. I'm going to put a couple uh, pallets down. Uh, first off, I want to figure out where the straps are. I can put it where a strap is. Right there on that light. Okay. So I'm going to show you the uh, straps working. See if we can grab the uh, cow and the horse pallet. Oh. And then I'm going to buy a couple bales and we're going to stick on there and then we're going to drive around the road a little bit. Just see how well things stick on here. All right.
can see my uh, outstanding pallet handling skills, right? <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. go strap those down and let's buy a few bales just to uh just to see how they work put a couple bales on here and like i said we're going to uh lift the gate and just drive around the roads a little bit see if the uh whoa we don't want to back in like that See if the uh, tractor stays on. See how well the uh, straps hold. Probably would... Uh, Probably would load this a little bit different if we were loading this for real. We are also assuming that we have a uh, a way of unloading these bales and such at the farm, so we don't have to uh, use the tractor that we bought and loaded first, right? Probably load the uh, tractor on first. If this was a uh, legitimate load. That's good enough. Right. And let's strap this up. Okay. Let's fold her up. Check out our beacons. Blinkers, hazards, burst lights, We've got running lights on the side. All right, let's go to town. Just drive around a little bit. You know, a, uh, a good mark of a good flatbed like this is, you know, do things slide around. How well do things hold? I don't think this vehicle has any sort of locking script. There's no option here oops, in the, uh, the menu to lock a load or unlock a load. That tractor seems to be pretty stable. The bales seem to be holding on pretty good that we're gonna have ourselves an accident so guys I hope you liked this video if you did please go ahead and click that like button let me know in the comments what you think of this uh, this particular trailer is this something that you're interested in and until next time guys happy farming <laughs>